You are now listening to a message from the I Can Women's Conference. Be inspired, be empowered, because you can. And today, by the grace of God, we have the privilege again of receiving the wife of the executive governor of Plateau State, the First Lady, Her Excellency, Barrister Helen Mutwan. Hallelujah. So would you, with Jesus' joy, help me receive her now as we receive her address and we'll take a moment to bless her. Amen. Can you help me celebrate the First Lady one more time? Amen. Good morning, people of God. The senior pastor, Chintok Ishaku, and Pastor Mrs. Sarah Ishaku, the resident pastor, Amos Stephen Obadiah, the admin pastor, Onesimus Madaki, the guest speaker, Pastor Mata Kure, other pastors here present, all government functionaries here present members of God Life Assembly, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is a privilege and honor for me to stand before you today at this wonderful gathering, the ICANN Women Conference. I would, like to for, I would like to first extend my heartfelt gratitude to Pastor Sarah Chinto Kashaku for inviting me to be part of this significant meeting. Pastor Sarah, your commitment to this empowerment of women is a true inspiration. And I am grateful to witness and share in this powerful vision of God for his daughters. To all women gathered here, I bring warm greetings from my husband, His Excellency Barista Kele Mutfan. It is truly an incredible joy to be here with you, to share, learn, and to join it together into the endless possibilities that God has prepared for us. The theme of this conference, I can, resonates deeply within me. It speaks of a truth that God has planted in our hearts from the beginning, that all things are possible with him. As I look at all of you, I am reminded that we are each created by God for his greatness, beauty and glory, to be living testimonies of his power and grace. We are not just women, but verses through which God can take back territories restore lives, and demonstrate his love to the world. Growing up in Port Harcourt River State, I learned the value of hard work, faith, and resilience from my parents. Those early lessons stayed with me as I journeyed across the country, from Port Harcourt to Enugu, from Kaduna to Plateau State learning to adapt, thrive, and trust God's plan. I was blessed to meet my husband during my youth service in Kaduna. Like many of you, I have endured seasons of uncertainty, balancing professional life as a lawyer, lecturer, wife, and mother. Through it all, one truth remains constant. God is faithful. And empowers us to overcome whatever challenges we face. Ladies, as Pastor Sarah rightly said in the build-up to this conference, we are not called to manifest in rebellion, but in submission to the one who created us. 
to uncap the hidden potential within us and break free from every limiting mindset. In God's presence, we have permission to dream again, to step into spheres of influence, and to declare with boldness, I can. <laughs> Not by our own power, but by his spirit that quickens us. Today, I want to encourage every woman here to embrace the transformation God is bringing your way. Whatever fears or boundaries have held you back, know that there are no such match for the power of God within you. You are capable. You are strong. And with God, you are unstoppable. This is a time for a reawakening. Shifting our mindsets and allowing the Spirit of God to reconstruct how we see ourselves and our purpose. Let us, like Esther, who dared to risk it all for her people, like Deborah, who rose up in courage to lead, like Mary, who trusted God's word for her life, women who understood that their icon was rooted in the power and purpose of God. Our beloved Plateau State is blessed with women of immense talent, strength, and virtue. We are all called not just to nurture our families, but also to shape our communities, our states, and our nation. The challenges of today's economic, social, or spiritual re require the contribution of women willing to say, I can and we will allow God to use them as instruments of change. My prayer for each of us today is that we will not leave this place the same. Amen. We will receive courage, grace, and a renewed vision to impact the world. Amen. I believe in the power of women. I believe in what God has placed in each one of us. And I believe that by his spirit, we will continue to rise, build, Amen. heal, and glorify him in all we do. Amen. Together, we can break boundaries. Amen. Together, we can transform plateau states and beyond. Amen. May God bless you all richly. Amen. May his spirit rest upon each of you, Amen. enabling you to walk boldly into the destiny he has set before you. Amen. Remember, sisters, in Christ, there are no limits. Amen. You can and you will. Amen. Thank you and God bless you. Want more? Head to the GLA podcast on Spotify, Amazon, YouTube, and other platforms. Download messages at www.godlifeassembly.org or www.pastorchintop.com. You can also follow service live on Facebook and YouTube at the GLA Jobs.